this is this is hot AF by the way. I know uh oh, look at that guys. Look at that. Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. It has been at least two weeks, maybe three, since I've had my kebab fix. Fuming. So when we were in Audi the other day, we saw this. And my beautiful wife picked it up and it looks quite nice on the uh, on the picture so we've had an attempt at making our own kebab with this a few extras made our own sauces take a look should a kebab be something that you leave to professionals or can it be done at home over here we have this chicken king kebab peri peri flavor i've cooked off some hummus to give it another texture in there i've got my hummus oh my god halloumi sorry Hummus, halloumi, cucumber, tomato. I've got some uh, bacon fries cr crushed up. We're just using what we've got in the house to give it another texture. Mayonnaise, and I've made my own sauce here today as well. So I always like the chili sauce when I go to restaurants. I've taken inspiration from this. Excuse the mess over my shoulder, by the way. I'm a man when I cook. It's like a bomb has gone off. I've taken inspiration from the, my favorite kebab places that do a chili sauce with a mint twist. So I've used a bit of ketchup, some fiery chili sauce, a bit of mango chutney for sweetness, and I've finished off my mint sauce in there too. It gives it the most incredible flavor. You've got this heat coming through with a fresh, minty, cooling flavor at the same time. It's a wonderful combination. So, let's try and construct, let me use a spoon instead. Let's try and construct a kebab. Ah, fuck, oh, just kick, just kick the side. <laughs> oh, just get a toe. <laughs> We've got a naan bread too, guys, as well. Not a wrap or a pitta. Again, I absolutely love my naan breads when we have them rolled up like a big sausage. Oh, love a big sausage. So have a look at the meat. What do you think, guys? I'm going to put a picture in the comments below of me carving it. It comes on like two wooden skewers, so you can actually carve it like a kebab, which is kind of cool. This was $4.99. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's not bad value. Look at that, look. Look at that. Right, what should we do first? Bit of halloumi in there. Let's get, this, let's get some texture. Let's get some texture going. Is this gonna be a brilliant kebab or is it gonna be a car crash? We don't know, but look, do you know what? I'm experimenting at home. We don't mind. There isn't really any good kebab places where I live. So, what's the man gonna do? There we go. Couple of, what's the matter? It's huge, isn't it? What are you laughing at? Hummus. Hummus. There we go. I'm gonna put some regular mayo on there. Like regular mayo. Huh? There's a lot of mayo. There's a lot of mayo. This is this is hot AF, by the way. I know. Uh, oh, look at that, guys! Look at that. For a tuck in, my heart. I've literally just been cooking, guys. It pulling it out of the oven was really tough. <laughs> Chopping the veg really got the heart rate going. Drink watch because we're doing a kebab. Of course, I had to go back to the old kebab classic, although it's not in a can. Rubicon. <laughs> Lychee in a can, uh, in a, what is this called? Oh, I've lost the plot. My brain's not working. <laughs> Carton. With my 1.5 pint glass. This is, guys, you're actually watching someone here lose their mind. On camera. Look at that. Not the colour I was expecting. No, pink, lychee. God knows what that is. <laughs> Probably a fruit from the Sahara. Delicious. Oh, very sweet. Sweet after kick. And Audi, take a bow. We've also got some halloumi fries to go with it. On the side, top with a bit of sweet chili, look. Right, let's dive into one of them to start with. Let's see what these are like. Sweet chili, loomy fries. Not the best. Mm. 
We'll leave that. Right. I should have made this over here and mold it that way. There we go. What I'm gonna do, I'll cut it halfway. There we have it. Half a homemade chicken, halloumi, bacon frazzles, naan bread, all the rest of it. Let's have a go. It's good. That's really, really good. We've got sauce all over my chops. No, you're fine. Come have a look, guys. We've got different layers going on. The chicken has got a wonderful flavour to it. I think that's a success. In my head. We tried to get some other, some Donner meat as well and stuff, but we couldn't get it. The shops didn't have anything. And I know that the shop bought Donner meat is normally horrendous. We only had the chicken. I was a bit nervous that this would turn out a bit of a car crash. And actually, it's not the sort of kebab that you would probably buy or I'll you know, leave it to professionals. Actually, this is fresh. I've got my warmth. I've got my, uh, my the juiciness, the crunchiness of the, of the tomato and the cucumber. I've got the bacon, bacon fries. We uh, <laughs> got quite a few of them in the house. Uh, my wife got a bit trigger happy on Amazon. So I thought I might as well use them. Use them what we've got in the house. Ready the sauce cupboard, made a, put together a, a minty fresh Chili sauce, I like it. Aldi, hats off for this. This is that unbelievable, to be fair. Five quid and you got all of that and all loads over there if the car crash mess behind me. Um, so, should you cook or try and cook a kebab at home when Aldi are doing stuff like this, making it really easy for you? I think yes. I think in times like this, experiment, have a play. Get in your kitchen. Try and make some food that you've never made before. We're all foodies after all. We love what we do. We love eating. Probably while you're watching this video now. Um, guys, if you like this video, tag someone in the comments that you think could demolish a kebab like this. Or someone that you want to share your next kebab with. I want to give this a score. Of my, from myself, home cooking style, I'm going to give myself a 6.9. Could be better. Uh, I think I'll put it in the wrong place. So I've got loads of bread over here, which is uh, not ideal. But I'm learning. I'm learning. 6.9. Table for two with a view. And that is a review.